Hi there! Today's video excites me beyond belief. It is a fashion video. I love doing these types of videos. It is a white jeans video, but not just one pair of jeans, not just one style of jeans. I'm doing three different styles of white jeans, three different pairs, and two ways to wear each pair. Okay, maybe three in one of them. So we'll call it a bonus. But there are so many different styles of jeans, so many different body types, not one style fits all. And so I think it would be a disservice if I just featured one type of jean and you thought, well, yeah, great, but I can't do that. It doesn't fit my torso. It doesn't fit my lower half or not my style. There's got to be sort of a thread that weaves through all of the different looks that I'm going to show you. And that is class, sophistication and trends that I personally think are appropriate for our age and demographic. I think there are a lot of trends that we can play into, a lot of trends we need to stay away from, and hopefully get you seeing maybe how you style your jeans differently, or maybe thinking, okay, I need to go run out and get that particular style because they're way cool. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and join the community. I love for you to be here. As I have mentioned on all previous fashion videos, I am a bargain hunter. I do not like to pay full price for anything, although I love quality. So you're going to notice an incredible diversity when it comes to price points. Anything that's higher end, and I choose to go higher end when it comes to accessories, so belts, shoes, and handbags, 90% of those were pre-loved by somebody else. I love resale shopping. I will provide links as to where I go hunting. Some of the stores are local here in Houston. Many of them are online. So the higher end stuff, nine out of 10 times was somebody else's bag, purse, belt, whatever. Um, I think that takes care of housekeeping. Um, are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm so excited. I got my glasses on so I can read what I've written down for you. The first one, where is it? There it is. The first one that we're going to do, and, and of course, I'm so corny, I like to name my outfits. I, I can't help it. So this one is called Chic Street, and this is that high-waisted fit and flare crop white jeans by Ann Taylor. They call it the Easy Straight High Rise. I absolutely love the fit of these jeans. They don't pinch at the top. There's no muffin top. Like I said, the style leaves it great for focusing on shoes. But this look is just kind of a chic, knocking around town look, but you want to have class and you want to have elegance with it. So I've worn a lightweight, silky white button down blouse from White House Black Market. I'm wearing this outfit with my absolute favorite style of shoe for the year. The Lug Sole Loafer, or they're called Platform Loafers. These are Black Patent by Franco Sar and by the way, you can still wear your white sneakers with this outfit as well, but I'm just really transitioning into the lug sole right now. I just love it. Uh, this black purse was given to me by my sweet mama. It's by Bally. I chose to go with no belt for this look because I think with a flatter shoe look, sometimes not splitting your torso in half will make you look longer and leaner. So keeping that all white line nice and linear without separating it with a belt, I think makes you look longer. And then you can use black accessories, the black shoes, the black purse. And by the way, black and white is a big, big summer trend for this uh, season. Super comfortable and probably one of my absolute favorite classic go-to looks. I think you can wear this anywhere in any part of the country, any part of the world, and it just reeks elegance and sophistication. Okay, so now I told you these jeans really give the shoes a focal point. So let's now do it with a different pair of shoe, dress it up. This outfit I'm calling Feminine Flirt. Again, the high-waisted fit and flare crop jeans, easy straight high rise by Ann Taylor. Another trend that I wanted to pull in here is the puff sleeve blouse. This this is a pale sky blue blouse by Shine or Shein. Cost nothing. The shoes are the focal point in this. Dressy, clear, and gold ankle tie heels by Shoots. I love the shoes. I love the tie strap. Again, having a jean that's a little bit higher on the ankle allows for the ankle straps and especially booties to work really, really well. So I have gold in the shoes. It makes sense to accessorize with gold to complement what's going on. Gold earrings, gold necklace, belt or no belt, depending on your body shape or desire. In this case, I did go with a belt. I kept it white and all you see is the 
front buckle, the Hermes buckle, that really ties in with the gold accessorizing. And I brought in a very dressy and formal gold Dolce & Gabbana purse that I bought years ago, again, I think on the Real Real. But the gold became the focal point in this outfit, and it was more about the accessories, everything else, pale, muted, soft, flowy. The front tuck, by the way, is a great way to go if you feel like you want to hide a little bit of midsection but you want the belt buckle to pop just do a tiny little front tuck loosen everything let it blouse out and that way i think also it has a bit of a slimming effect but it makes you feel more comfortable with what you're wearing and it keeps you very stylish at the same time okay so those are two ways to feature this really popular style of jean right now the next two are going to focus on the big wide flare jean, which I love, makes your legs go on for miles. These are old jeans that I've had by Seven for All Mankind. They're not high-waisted, they're a mid-rise. And I wanted to do this outfit with a absolute classic staple, and that is a navy blue and white striped shirt. Oh, by the way, I'm calling this French flare. Now, look at the proportion. This shirt is by Boston Proper, again, from many years ago. But since there's a big flare at the bottom, I went with a fitted striped shirt. If you had a skinnier jean, then you would want a looser shirt for proportion. So the shoes with this one, another lug sole platform. These are white sneakers by Stella McCartney. The key is height because you don't want the pants dragging on the floor. So make sure whatever shoe, sneaker, heel, whatever you wear with a long flared jean, make sure it's got enough height to keep those jeans just above the floor. Now, this is a really fun option. As you can see, I've got a red purse with this and a red lipstick. I'm, I'm channeling the French look. So as I bring in this kind of French concept with a little pop of red, here's another fun thing you can do. If you want to dress it up for evening, opt in for a blazer, a red one. This one's by Sanka Sept and it complements the red purse, which is by Prada. But I love all the different little red pops that go along with this. Very French from the striped shirt to the red jacket to the red accessories. You can build upon it. You can do the jacket on the shoulders. You cannot do a jacket. I just wanted to throw that in there. The navy, the white, and the red. What a wonderful combination that is and I love how it gives you options to play around with a bright colored purse and a bright color lip. And you're probably noticing by now, makeup is changing with every look, the hairstyle is changing with every look, and that's how it should be. You don't wanna be one look fits all, so play around with it. I have shown you multiple times on this channel, there are many different ways to get a variety of looks out of a short haircut, and I'll provide a link to that if you feel stuck with your look. But don't be afraid to mix up the hair, don't be afraid to change up the makeup to complement what it is that you're doing. So this next look with the flared white pants, I just adore. Who would have thunk that white jeans could be dressy in evening. Yes, ma'am, they can. And so this one is called White Night for the all white head to toe. Get a load of this, same pair of jeans, but this is now with a ruffle neck silk blouse by Lily Silk, adding some real pretty femininity to it, and a tuxedo blazer by Catherine. And it's a wool blazer, but it has a beautiful kind of satin lapel, adding just a nice dressy component to it. I've also added white pointed toe heels. These are by Sophia Webster. Again, make sure your heel height is high enough to keep those jeans from dragging on the ground. They can just hit it, but don't let them drag. And my favorite accessory with this whole outfit is the Charlotte Olympia mirror purse, Pandora style in black resin, but it's got this cool mirror with pearls all around it. That inspired me to have a pearl earring and a red lip because it's got the red kiss on the front of the mirrored purse. So it all ties in together. Again, the hair is kind of slicked back to complement more of an evening type of a look. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cool to do mixed media you know, normally you would do a white, off-white wool slack with that, but why not a jean? Why not throw in something different and still pull off a great, elegant evening look? The next one now 
is the skinny jean and most people have a stretch skinny in their closet and if you like a skinny I want to show you this is what I was talking about so this is basically two ways to wear one outfit I'm gonna call it sun up till sundown because let's say you're out and about and you've got errands to run and you've got a casual kind of day ahead of you this is the look you might opt for I love a graphic t-shirt I'm wearing a light denim jacket by McGuire tied at my waist. I've got the seven for all mankind stretch ankle crop skinny and these mesh faux suede booties by Jeffrey Campbell. Um, they've got cutouts in them so they allow air to move through and I don't get hot in these booties. And I love the pop of the straw fedora. I think a hat is so great in the summer. Of course it gives you sun protection but style points too. And this one is by Bailey of Hollywood. And then you've noticed this tan canvas bag that's got French writing on it. I found it on Amazon. So make sure you've got a bag that's sizable because let's say you can't get home to change and you have to go from a day to a night look. Throw in a pair of black strappy heels and a black chic belt. And now comes the nighttime transition. We are in sundown. So it's, it's the same outfit. The jacket is no longer wrapped around the waist. I'm wearing a dressy belt to really add some style points to it. I also have these Black Stuart Weitzman ankle strap open toe heel. These are formal shoes that I would wear with an e evening dress, an elegant dress. But you know what? You can pair it with your white skinny jeans too. Change up the style of your hair a little bit, dress it up, and there you go. A wonderful option to be able to take you to dinner out, especially if it's nice casual not too dressy, obviously, because you still have denim going on, a jean jacket, but still, it really transitions this outfit from dragging the streets to going out to eat and hanging with your girlfriends or meeting up your hubby for dinner or whatever it may be. But I love the versatility, getting two looks out of one outfit, so that's why I said there was sort of a bonus in there. And now, the next skinny jean look is something that I'm gonna call Office Ready, and it's the same pair of white skinny jeans. We have now added a white tank top by Anu and a black blazer by Zara. This is actually a very open, loose-fitting blazer but I wanted to focus in on another trend this season and that is belted blazers so take your blazer stick a belt around it it completely transformed this one instead of being loose and open it's now fitted and snug using the Gucci belt I'm actually wearing with this I did not want the shoe to be the focal point I really wanted the belted blazer to be so it's a nude open toe ankle strap heel from Target that's right, Target. They're by A New Day, and they're as comfortable as can be. The black leather purse is by Elaine Turner, but this is something that you could wear at the office, kind of Friday casual chic, and again, can transition into evening time as well. But I think it's so cool that you can have all of these different types of looks with three different jeans. I could have gone on and on and on. And by the way, whoever said you can't wear white past Labor Day, that is not true. So many winter styles with white, and so maybe that can be a continuation of this video. You can do white skinny jeans with booties, with big layered sweaters, with scarves. You can do white skinny jeans or the white crop flare with combat boots and a black moto leather jacket. So don't feel like you've got to put away your white jeans come September. You can carry them on through winter. So many wonderful ideas and inspiration uh, out there, by the way, on Pinterest and wherever you choose to look for that. Or maybe here, maybe I'll do a video um, come September, October on how to style those white jeans. But give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and you like the styles and you feel that you can incorporate them and you're glad that I featured a variety of jean choices for you. And of course, in the comment section, let me know what you would like to see in coming videos and maybe even how you prefer to style your white jeans. Give us some tips. I know our ladies in the community would greatly appreciate it. You learn so much from each other and I always watch the comment section, especially the first hour after a video publishes. I'm always there. So it publishes 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm always there from one to two basically in the comment section to chat with you. So if you're there, then I'll be there. After that, I've got to get ready for my other job, my night job, which is a news anchor at the NBC station here in Houston, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I like to work. <laughs> anyway, with your white jeans, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next week. Bye.